Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. It's time for us to check in with Tony Toscano to find out what's coming out of Hollywood and straight to your screen, no matter what size you're going to watch it on. With the latest, here's Tony. Thanks, Mitch. Entering its ninth season on A&E is the reality show 60 Days In. This season, the series is focusing on the Utah County Jail. When I went in, I had no idea what to expect. Contraband. You guys will see drugs. Get you in there, Joseph. See what you got to carry I think we're stupid. He's new. He's got a tight booty. I'm hitting it. The dude, Ricky. I don't think he belongs in jail. He needs mental help. The series offers a look at life behind bars as seven ordinary people volunteer to live among the jail's population for 60 days without fellow inmates or staff knowing their secret. I chatted with Salt Lake County Sheriff Mike Smith about the experience. Jail is jail. It's a punishment. It's not fun. It's not something where you want to be. So I hope their biggest takeaway is, you know, whatever it is you're thinking about doing out in your community that may be against the law, well, don't do it. It's not worth it. You do not want to go to jail. Just, just obey the law and your life will be much more pleasant. 60 Days In is a very raw and eye-opening series taking the viewer inside the prison system and showing the effect that the system has on those incarcerated. Again, 60 Days In is available on A&E and gets a B. It's rated TV 14. In selected theaters is the irreverent female buddy comedy, Babes. It stars comedian Ileana Glazer. Hey. Hey. Am I pregnant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single mom. She may not keep the baby of your choice. Oh, she may not, she may right, not, right, right. Single. In the film, two inseparable childhood friends find their friendship at a crossroads when one of them decides to have a baby after a one night stand. This movie is about two best friends in very different places in their lives. Michelle Buteau's character has a husband and two kids and my character gets uh, knocked up by a one night stand, <laughs> keeps the baby and it tests their lifelong friendship. The thing that was compelling to us and stuck with us is how our friendships changed during this time. We had experienced it as non-parents already but then we we knew what was coming. We knew, okay, I know that having kids are really hard and it changes things. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's something that is specific to this time in this life and this story, but it's something I think that many different kinds of people across the spectrum of life can relate to. Babes is all about the ups and downs of female friendships, but the film is uneven with some very funny moments canceled out by some moments that are way too forced. Again, Babes is in selected theaters and gets a C. It's rated R. For The Daily Flash, I'm film critic Tony Toscano.